Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Angela, the Traveling Crafter, and I'm here with another 15-minute ephemera project. And I thought, well, I just need to get this stuff off my desk, so why not do a quick video? So I have all of these from a wallpaper sample book, and this is, I can never remember, <laughs> I always want to call it cheesecloth, uh, not bark cloth. I'll think about it before the video is over, but th this is from uh, a sample book, and these were the size that they were, and I was working on this project, which I won't show you too much of, except for we're going to be making this together, and I just started playing, and I hope to goodness that I remember how to do it. <laughs> Because there was no plan. I was just experimenting with some old envelopes while I was cleaning last weekend at the acreage. So we'll be making that soon. But I had a bunch of leftovers. So what I thought we would do, well, what I did, was I started making these cute little booklets. So I made this one and I just stuck in some random leftover papers that I had just to make a cute little notebook. So there's that one. And then these, I had all of these strips left over, which I've got right over here. Those are the rest of them. And so I first made this, which is just a notebook. So you can write on each one of these and then on all of these, or you could turn it this way if you wanted, whatever you feel like. And then I thought, well, they were kind of sticking out because, you know, it's wallpaper. So I thought, well, I'm just going to make these little bands. And I just did it the wrong way. I put it on the wrong way, but that's okay. And then I made this one, and I kind of graduated those up and down. So again, it can go this way if you want. And you can just tuck these into a pocket. You can, I should put this one in Rhea's journal, but oh, she's got enough stuff in there. She's probably gonna be overwhelmed anyway. Uh, and I did do, and then there's, there's the last one. And I did do a quick um, short and a reel for Instagram that I will get together and put um, put up on the journal that I made for her for graduation in an hour or less. So, yay. So that's what we're going to make. We're going to make these. So what will we need? Well, you need some paper. Now, I happen to be using wallpaper because that's what I have on hand. Uh, but you can use whatever you wish to use. Now, these were all my scraps. So I have these for the bands. And then I have a bunch of these. And I have a bunch of paper. And this is just scrapbook, was scrapbook paper. And I don't know, if we need extra stuff, we'll use it. But I think we're going to make these about... Are these all about the same size? I bet they are because I cut things. Let's use this. Nah, let's use this. I like these three. These, not so much. Okay. Very neutral. All right, so what did I do? I don't know. Oh, I want, I do need a piece of, I want a piece of this though. Let's see, let's pick out colors to match this. No, that one's okay. This one, this one goes with this. I'm gonna move that up above me. That doesn't go with any of this. Maybe this one. Nope. <laughs> Just bring the whole stack over, Ange. Ooh, that's metallic. That one will work. I don't love it, but it's not horrible. I have one more in here I'm just gonna look at. That one's better. There we go. All right, so the first thing we need to do is probably cut this down to size. So we'll just cut them all about the same. No need to measure. And, you know, the, the basis of this one is use your scraps, right? And you can create a lot of really cool things. And I realized, this is hard, really, sorry, guys. Uh, I owe you guys a couple of things because I had two requests. Ooh. Okay, the next one I'm... Now we got another strip. Okay, that's too much. I'm gonna, I'm just cutting it. 
I owe you two things. So if you were the one that requested this, know that I will be doing it. I um, owe you a, and I'll put it on Kofi, my, and it'd probably just be my handwriting, but the list that I use when I scrap bust, like I go in a certain order and I start from largest and work my way down and it works perfectly. And somebody asked for that and then somebody else asked me, uh, they're considering starting a channel and they wondered about my setup, the mount right above me. So I need to do that too. I haven't forgotten, it's on my list. I've just not had time yet. All right, let's put these back together. So that's with that. <clears throat> I don't remember. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Just it's fine. Just how it is. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just going to fold this down to wherever we want. I got something on my hand again. Okay. So we're just going to fold it over and then we need to add some additional papers. So I'm going to do this one. Well, gosh, I think I'll just do this one right in half. Make it more of a notebook, okay? And then let's add a piece of paper or two. And maybe we come down like that. Oh, you know what we could do? Well, if you have a longer piece for it, let me show you. We're just going to make that into a pocket. Hold on, I'll show you what you could do so you guys know what I'm thinking. You can be picking up what I'm putting down. Okay, that just became a pocket. Now, when I did these, I did not have much for tools. What did I use to poke that with? I must have just used my poke. I had a all there. I think that's what I used. Okay, I like this just like that. So here's what I did. And again, this is another perfect, look at this big all that I got though. <laughs> that's the one I had from the acreage. Now this is like the real thing. Also called pokey tool in my opinion, but um, I need some twine. Friends. I'm just going to use this neutral one. Oh my lord. If you could see the mess I have here. <laughs> All right, I got it. And then I just <laughs> pop those through. Uh, so again, this is a, not only is this a 15 minute ephemera. Um, project, but it's also fantastic if you were a beginner with not very many tools. Uh-oh. I had to put on my, I put on a sweatshirt, a zip up, because it's cold outside. I want to take the dogs out. Gee, many Chris. Come on now, why are you doing that to me? It's getting stuck. There we go. All right, and then I just tied it in a knot, double knotted it. One, and I did, left it a little bit looser. Cut off the excess. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, here's what I was thinking. One down. And then you can embellish it however you wish. Oh, and then we need a wrap -roo. Um... Where are those other ones? There they are. I thought maybe we'd find one that was, yeah, a little, now the thing is these, I just, they happen to be about the right size, most of them. So I just put them together, let them dry, and then came back and embellished them. Now, I did use some clips, which I'm going to do on that one while we're talking. I did use some of these clips just to keep that together because it is um, 
textured. So you got that. Okay, now the big one. Where was that paper? Oh, right here. These are longer. You know, this is the same size as this versus this. So what you could do is, look at that, make it like this. So this is your flap. And now I'm not even on these. I'm not even rounding the edges. And you could make this as a little tuck. Then put your papers in here. It's probably too wide, isn't it? Yeah. You seeing what I'm saying? You know, just put them in here. And then it just goes down and goes like that. You could glue it. Well, no, you wouldn't want to glue it. But another option. We're not doing that today, but it's there. Okay, next one. I'm going to go with... And the nice part about it is that I did not measure anything. Um, should we make this a pocket? Why not? I didn't do that on the last ones, but I kind of like it. These are bigger. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to make these this a pocket. Okay, so this is the top. This one, I'm not going to round the corner. <laughs> okay, then, this one's just a little bit. I'll cut it off in a minute. Let's do these. I'm thinking. I was thinking to do it like that. Although I gotta, I'm gonna have to cut all that off. Let's just do it. Here, let's make life easy on us. Maybe if I can find my. There we go. Can you guys see that? I'm just going to rip off a little smidgy. I don't mind if it's shorter. I just don't want it to be as long. Oh, my gosh. My goodness. There we go. All right. So we end up with, I'm just going to cut this off. That's only three pages, so let's add a couple more. Oh, here, here's some short ones. Perfect. All right, let's add this one. And, oh goodness gracious, that's not straight. Why don't we do this one? Now this, what if, well, I want to be able to use, look at me, I'm being a rebel. <laughs> I'm just cutting it right off. It's not necessarily straight. I want to be able to use all these. So I'm, I was thinking we could have used one of our, um, those fasteners, those metal fasteners, and that would have worked too, but. Nope, we're going to stick to what we got on hand. You might want to clip all those together when you're poking the hole. Poke it. There we go. Grab a piece of string. Yeah, you could use yarn. You could use fabric. You could use embroidery floss. If you wanted to and you wanted to double it up, you could even use thread probably. no rules and then tie it this is a great scrap buster i'm gonna leave that just like it is and i'm gonna close this up here and we need a you know what what if we did a no no yes 
I'm just going to, well, I put it on at the, at the fattest part so that I know that it will go all the way up and down without any problem. So that's what you're seeing there. Just hold it down for a second. Attach it right there and set it aside. So this one's already done. So now take that off and then it just goes, slides up and down. <laughs> really easy. Not, that one, not so much. Hmm. The other one was better. Okay, let's do one more. And then we will call this a video. I hope you're enjoying this. Should we do one? Uh, let's see. Where was the last one I was going to do? Was it this one? Let's do a big one. Let's do it like this. So, no, I want it to go. Well, you can't really see the the flower as much. Okay, this one could be our biggest one. Well, we we got a rip here. We're just gonna rip it off and leave it. There's lots, all of these little pieces on the not bark cloth, whatever it's called. Okay, what else do we got? Well, I have this, so we might as well use it. I'm taking up a little more than what I need. It's not straight either. <laughs> okay. I want this one underneath here. Instead of doing this, we'll do something else if we got a second. Let's put another, let's use up these scraps. I'm gonna rip this one down a little bit. I'm just gonna fold that one right in half. Should we add any more? Oh yeah, let's add this one. Doesn't matter if it's got a few little rips on it. No big deal. Let's put that one in here. And this, I feel like it needs to be ripped off or cut off. Just so there's a little more room. Okay, got it. Where's the center? Right here. Hi, Ruby. We're going to clip it, poke it, mark it with the B, put it in the oven for baby. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I'm losing my mind. Okay, let's see. Now, I won't be able to totally finish this part of it, but... We're going to use what we got and maybe, let me see, I mean, I, I'm saying I won't be able to finish it because I'm thinking it will need to dry. Okay. So my thought was clippy there for the meantime, well, you know what we could use. Hold on, we can just use a brad. Come here, brad. Where are ya? Those are not brads, those are bees. Nope, those are eyelets. Oh, we could do that too. Nah, we need brads, it's easier. Come on, oh, there they are. I don't even know if I have any colors. Well, maybe there's just gold and there's some bigger ones. Oh, heck yeah. There we go. 
voila. Go back where you belong. Now we're going to all it up again. Just a little, add a little spice of life. We're going to push that on that way. And in this one, we are going to, hang on. Just gonna make a little knot, frayed knot. Oh, come on, it's a long piece of string. Yep, I'm using my fingers or my teeth. Don't tell the don't tell my dentist. <laughs> Oh, this might be, still be too big. Can I make it smaller? Yes, I can. Brilliant. Slipknot it was. <laughs> and then you can just wrap a nap dappy around that a couple times. And to done. So there you go. Your 15 minute ephemera project. I've been doing a lot of those and it's because I haven't had a lot of time to do long in depth videos. So I hope that you're still enjoying them. And we will see you back next time. But until then, remember to take time to just be. Cheers.